Thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Which way is the computer? Hey, 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 guys. How you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Ooh, ha! Ah, we're ready to go. It's Madman. He's a madman. Time to move out. And don't worry for some of you uh, serious people. Uh, yeah, we're, we're watching tier 5, but we're going to watch tier 10 as well. But the madman needs to be seen. And you're probably wondering, Klaus, what's happened? Who turned out the lights? It's so hot here. It's so beautiful. It feels, even though I'm up near the North Pole, it feels like I'm in California. Guys, it feels like I'm so... I'm, I've got the California vibes. I've got the California look. This is what they dress up like in California, I think. At least last time I saw that show. Uh, what, the two guys, the blonde guy and the other guy with the... With the, the Grand, the Torino, what were they named? Uh, Starsky and uh, the other guy. But the, that's, that's what they dressed. At least the blonde guy dressed like this. Starsky always wore the sweaters. I don't know why. And uh, I'm trying to be healthy. I've made myself a good kind of West Coast Californian breakfast here. It's um, reconstituted. Um, Quinoa, which is uh, apparently an ancient grain. What the hell? Jesus. The hell kind of ancient my ass. Who the hell wants to eat old grains? Oh. After this uh, video's over, guys, it's upstairs. I'm bacon and eggs. Win a one. How are you guys doing? I forgot to. I, how was the intro this morning? Are you guys in a good mood? Have I perked you up? Not perked. Pepped? I don't want to be perking anyone. Have I pepped you up? Pet me up. You can pet me up. All right, well, what are we watching here? What is this? It's the Madman. He's from the Man Clan. And he's the Mad Man. And guys, uh, this isn't a troll video, okay? It's, it's not just a garbage... Uh... Just watch. I know it's tier 5, and I know he's in some weird... I don't even know what that is. Uh, apparently, it's a tank. This is a tank battle. Uh, but <laughs> you're in for a treat. Just... I mean, look, look at the Muppets. Look at the clowns and the losers. Idiots, says the T6 medium in chat. <laughs> Report, says the T6 medium. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, so... Idiots? Report. <laughs> His name is Jerk. Did you read the, the, the messages there? <laughs> the T6 medium. His in-game name is Jerk. Said, Report. <laughs> And he finally fires his gun. Alright guys, just uh... He might have fired his gun and I didn't notice earlier. Because I was wearing the uh... Like you really can't see anything. I hear guns going off. It's hard. It's because they're polarized. But just watch this, okay? For tier 5. This is just incredible. They're playing well. Look, they've taken map positions. A couple of their teammates went up to the A123, kind of the northwest corner. The Excelsior and the T-34 are trying to hold off the, the enemies from pushing around the, the southern, uh, southern eastern horn there. This guy's driving around like a chicken with his head cut off, which uh, always happens at tier 10. He's been spotted, so he takes cover. I, I th and this guy stopped because, well... And, and he's been hit once and his engines... Where did he get hit? Well, apparently got hit in the engine. Right in the back there. Yeah, you see the hole right uh, right kind of in the back there. So he got, he got hit in the engine. Now watch what happens in this game. This is uh, incredible. I'm in a good mood today. So uh, <laughs> this is what you got. Right? Snap! This thing has a beast-like gun, I would say. This, this gun handling is beast-like. And uh, you know what? Another huge advantage... Other than it looking ridiculous, uh, it kind of looks like um, a Charlie Chaplin car, uh, it, it has a very high reverse speed. So when you're poking and shooting and moving back, 
like um, a, a tier five playing ridge lines and moving up and moving back and, and maneuvering you're gonna outplay so many beginners with this thing because you can pull back pulling back is um, is a is a necessary skill <laughs> I'm not even joking Fialis that's why the uh, shit barn the FB 4008 the big one the big gun it sucks now because they nerfed the reverse speed which makes it you know you can shoot uh, but you can't get back into cover. Now he's just going in. He's got pedal to the metal, snap. He's just, that guy's still aiming. Gotcha! It's 7 7. It's a close game. And he gets some spooting assist. Oh, oh, oh! He spooted some more. And they both missed him, and he's gonna shoot. Boom! What a gun! And I like the British commander. Enemy hit! Now the Stug is blind. If he pulls up there, the Stug probably can't even spot him unless he's got Binox and uh, may maybe Cam Caminat doesn't happen, but Binox. See, the Stug, did, did you see that? His sixth sense did not go off. Klaus is smart. The Stug there, he he's at the corner there waiting for enemies, but he can't spot any of them because the Stug has like 250 meters of view range. It's, it's pathetic. So, if you're a Stug, you do not take point position. You don't go to the corner and wait, because you're going to get out detected. If you're the Stug right now, you should be sitting at A0. You're just at the back in the bushes. You let your teammate spot if you're a Stug. Or you're a dumb Stug. Okay? Dumb Stug. See? Look at the Stug. He can't spot him. The Stug is blind. He's not detected. Silly, silly little Stug. We got him! Hey there, did you learn something in this video? Other than just admiring my funky glasses? Uh, if you if you have a Stug... Uh, now he's detected. This guy can detect him. But uh, a Stug cannot detect anyone. Anyone. Ever. You will always get detected first if you're in a Stug. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Unless you got a camel net and you're in the bushes. And you don't shoot. Which, I mean... If you're gonna do that, why be in a Stug? <laughs> All you want to do in a Stug is shoot. So you got to be in the bushes behind your team. You got you got to rely on your teammates to spot for you, or you go brawl. You get right up. Retreat. KV1 saw him but did not shoot him. Very close game. The enemies have some uh, powerful tanks. KV1, which he did not want to, he did not want to fight the KV1, and an OI. Uh, is he going to go help his team fight the OI? No, he's going to turn around and fight the KV-1, which could be a mistake. It could be a mistake, my friend. Unless he tries to outmaneuver. Oh, yeah, the KV-1. I thought the KV-1 was coming straight, but the KV-1 takes kind of a bad... Yeah, KV-1. Uh, oh, but it has armor, Russian armor. Little twig is blocking KV-1 view. Little leaf is fluttering in front of KV-1 face. KV-1 cannot see this little Tasmanian devil and KV-1 is dead. Wargaming needs to reprogram those uh, those twigs right there that he was looking through. See these things? These concealed the... Uh... That's how it worked. Uh, whoa, what a gun! He's not done yet, guys. Oof! What does he do now? Oh, he took one up the rear from another KV... Let's stop it right there. He took one in the rear from a KV-1, which used to, the last known position is here. Look at the minimap, and now he took one up the rear. So the KV-1 somewhere over here. This guy, the M10, detected him. The KV-1 is probably up there somewhere. And he takes another one. Oh, and the KV-1 missed, and he's just. He's driving. Then you're gonna drive some more. And keep driving. Hey, do you know where they went? Uh, yeah, man. Like, uh, you gotta, like, drive and keep driving. Uh, and then you gotta drive some more. Reference? Do you guys know? Huh? Cameo roll by a very popular 
by one of my favorite actors in one of the uh, movies that a lot of people don't even know he was in and he was speaking to um, Gandolfini the guy that played uh, Tony Soprano who was playing a mob guy in that movie he was looking for someone and then you drive some more man uh, hey uh, like you guys got some time you want to like uh, do a doobie before you go and uh, Gandolfini goes no no that's okay thanks for the end. and he leaves Cause, oh yeah d right man don't you come condes condescend me man Yes, reference? Anyone who gets that. See where the KV-1 is? Let's let's pause the video right here. Do you see where the KV-1 is? Did you know that? I knew that. I told you that about two minutes ago. That's how you know where the enemies are. Without even seeing them. You don't need glasses. Right? You don't need them. Did that shot hit? I did. I think this is the kill shot. The commander didn't say anything. Oh, he did. That one didn't go through. We didn't even scratch him. Enemy hit. And the kill shot? Where is this guy? He leapt off. He leapt off. Hi, caramba. He, he took off. He can't possibly be at A0 hiding. Let's see if his sixth sense goes off now. He is. No, he's not. Wouldn't his sixth sense have gone off? He's in lower topography. I think he went off the cliff and went itself. He hit itself. How is he not detected firing at him? I didn't think he was at A0 because his sixth sense did not go off. When he went up there, he got out of uh, direct detection and he would have went stealth. And then he went back and his sixth sense didn't go off. What was that? Did the guy bush himself into blindless? Blind, blindless. Blindness. Hey, you gotta admit, madman from the man clan... And a little tier 5 ends up with 2,794 damage, 6 kills. And Wargaming said, screw you, give us all your credits back. The help. Quinoa. Who the hell can eat this shit? Supposed to be healthy for you, but... My God. Kind of like dried, stale Rice Krispies that don't crackle or pop. Just dry, stale, mush flavored mush seeds. I'll, I'll edit that part out. Hey, how, where'd all the enemies go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's only 12. 12 v 12. It's 12v12. But it's tier 10. You wanted to see tier 10. Watch how much damage he does in a 12v12 game. There's 2, 4, 6. About, there's 7,000 less HP in the game. I mean, if you remove three mouses, there's 10,000 less HP in the game. You believe that? You take three tanks out, if they're big heavy tanks at tier 10, it's almost, you know, 8, 9, 10,000. Uh, HP. This guy's got uh, 2600, so if you take three IS 7s out, that's 7500 less SP, XP. So let's say 8000. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> so when you get this kind of matchmaking. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little luck to be able to do a lot of damage. No problem. Wait a minute, Yuri. <laughs> Hold on, Yuri. What do we do here? One 
uh, object explode. So it's not fair. Next object, bounce off weak spot. There, it's balanced here. But now, special German tank, special German player has arrived, Yuri. Oh, special German player has escaped the wrath of IS-7. He's gonna fight the whole enemy team. Here comes the bat chap. Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, boom! Oh. Did he just roll 380? Okay. Look what, what is going on with this game? The first shot he does 2,230 damage. 2,230 damage, right? He's got a gun that does uh, uh, 490 alpha. 490. He shoots the softest target and he rolls 380. Can you, can you say random? Can you say random number generator? <laughs> and there's no use me doing the commentary here. Might as well just not see what's going on. What's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference, Wargaming? It's all skill. You need to learn to aim and get good. Perhaps you'll low roll by over a hundred. Hey, what did he do? He hit the track wheel there? I guess he hit a track wheel. You know, sprocket or something. Okay, hey, come on, shoot him. There you go. But, the, but hey, well, first you hit track wheel. No, no good. Now you aim a little bit. Sprocket to the left. He's on fire. Papadania. Right? Right there. There's fuel tank. <laughs> fuel tank is right, be right beside sprocket of track. If you hit bolt. You do zero, but if you hit sprocket a little bit to the left, the uh, tank on fire, Yuri. Okay, let's, uh, who, who, who's he going after next? Go get the, uh, the Fosh 155 that's going to shoot you in the rear herd. The, the Fosh 155 was probably someone that, wow, well, but you got the special armor that is not penetrable from the rear. <laughs> Fosh 155 does not have any opportunity to pen rear of IS-7. Obviously, Yuri. <laughs> As you can see, the rear is angled, Yuri. Two big fuel tanks, but his bounce. Extra fuel tanks never light on fire. They're special Russian fuel. <laughs> now, this, now, which game's more fun? The little tier 5 or this one? This one's real world of tanks. This is how the programmers designed it. <laughs> and here he goes. You know that, and on a serious note, he's taking control of the middle, which is very important. He's got control of the middle of the map. And he can do some... Oh, he almost had that guy, eh? He had him in his sights. But you should go help your Object 780 friend. Look behind you. He's fighting two people. Now, I know you control the middle. But your teammate, the Object 780, oh, he's probably thinking... Oh, and you had a shot there. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, the bat chat is running away. What is he doing? Nobody knows. Here he goes. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bat chat. Under the roof. Around the post. Look at your friend there, the Object 7 here. Are you thinking, oh, he's an object. He should be able to handle a badger, an AMX, and a Fosh? It's a, he's a teammate. The poor guy, look at him. Look at him. Are you going to save him? Look at him now, you stupid tank! How many of you guys got the reference? Okay, they're all coming for him now. They're all coming for him, but you'll notice that this guy has not taken any damage yet because uh, uh, reasons. <laughs> oh, look! Look! Look, an angled badger. No way of penning the angled badger. Yeah, come on. The badger, now he is no longer angled. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, oh he's been ammo racked. I'm a wrecked. And he decides he's, he's running away. What are you doing? You're full HP. What's wrong with you? You know what rhymes with full HP? Pussy.
You could have handled a Badger and a Fosh and an AMX. He ran run away, ran away like a pussy. And now he's coming. Now he realizes the errors of his way and decides to come back. Oh, oh, he's worried about the Fosh. He's going to let his other teammate die or take this guy out first. He's trying to make the game close. Okay, now go get him, Tiger. And the Badger. A hull down Badger is hard to deal with, but, you know, uh, in reality, it is just a Badger. <laughs> it's just a Badger. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, I had fun. It's going to be a great day. Beautiful weather, just like California. And uh, so he's in here somewhere. I think he's on top. I can't really see. Uh, to keep clicking here. Um, I, I, where the hell's my mic? I can't. I don't know. You read the post game stats. I can't see what's going on. Okay, guys. I will catch you guys. On the next one.